Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union, part of the Prime Union family of alliances. And I bring you guys round three of the ray testing. And now we finally have a finished product uh, ready to go for this weekend. So uh, for those that don't know, we have a really exciting new uh, event coming up on uh, on this Friday. And it is called the Raid to Cybertron. And uh, we're raiding as a team. It's a team totalizer event. And we're going to get these uh, Shannock Shards and uh, Premium Shards, Spark, uh, Three Star Shards, and Four Star Shards. And these Shannock uh, coins that you see there, uh, up to 2,000. So you can redeem those coins. And what you can get with those coins are uh, items like XP Power Cores or Universal Combiner Spark. So uh, that would be very interesting. Um, something very new to the game and uh, something that uh, is very welcome. So uh, let's get into a little bit of this uh, raid battles here. So as you can see there, uh, we just started this event in the beta testing and uh, you have to get energy cells in order to compete in the event. And what you wanna do is you wanna form uh, smaller squads, just that'll take less time. So you form a smaller squad like that. And as you can see here, all the different event zones, uh, you can win experience in them and up to 20 fuel cells uh, per per attack. So if you want to get XP fast, if you want to get XP and level your, your bots, you want to hit these higher zones. But if you don't have a lot of time, you may want to hit maybe a lower zone, like a zone like one, two, or three. You'll get a little bit of experience, not as much as, as say, you would in a higher zone. But you can finish the level very, very fast. And so if you're running out of time, you don't have the strongest bots in, in the world, not to worry, just hit these lower zones to get that fuel and you'll be well on your way to uh, being able to attack in this um, new game mode that's coming up. So as you can see there, you get 20 fuel cells and this base is very easy to beat. You just drop one bot in here like that. I'm just going to drop Alita in the middle and she should take out everything. Boom. So there you go. Nine second battle, very fast, 20 fuel cells. You need 100 fuel cells in order to do one of these raid battles. Now, this is just the beta. There's no prizes awarded to us here. We're just doing some testing to iron out the kinks and to give you guys uh, an update on, on what's to come. So as you can see there, I was 20 fuel. And when you get 100 fuel, you're able to do a raid. So you just, once you get 100 fuel, as you can see there, I have uh, 225 fuel saved up now and as you can see there there's a little timer and every uh every five minutes you're going to get an extra a fuel cell uh recharging there so if you don't have enough time to raid don't worry you'll get some uh, fuel for free as well but once you've uh, accumulated 100 cells you can actually do a raid and uh and here are the raids that are available in the different uh, zones so the lower zones are a lot easier and um, I know it says it requires only one, but this is just uh, a test. And it's gonna cost you 100 fuel cells to attack one of these bases here. So let's go ahead and let's scout the base and take a look at it. So this is Praxis 1. This is the easiest base in the game. And as you can see here, we got a nice cool update and some new music from Cybertron, which is really, really cool. You can see uh, some uh, bots pro possibly traveling through that little uh, tunnel there, which is really, really cool. I love all the lights. This is a great, cool new map, and it was much needed. And you can see here, level one walls are very, very weak. They're very easy. Think of them as like, you know, basic starter walls, but they do look intimidating, but not to worry, they're very low in health. And so this is very doable for um, people that have lower bot levels uh, or they're newer to the game. You can actually accomplish a lot if you work together as a team here. But I'm just going to show you guys how it's done. So let's attack Praxis 1. How are you guys digging that new music? I'm really liking it. I'm uh, pretty excited for this new mode. It's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it quite a bit and uh, can't wait to bring you guys a battle here. So 
Now that we scouted it, we like what we see. Let's go ahead and attack this base. Now I'm gonna bring myself a squad that has uh, a tank. Now, because the, the, the defenses don't deal a ton of damage, you may not need Bumblebee to stun stuff uh, in, the, in the earlier rounds. You want bots that can do more damage. So I would bring uh, with me more uh, of, the, of, the, of the gunner type bots that can, uh, can attack from far away and, and deal area of effect damage. That's kind of what you want to bring into battle here. So I'm thinking maybe a Skylynx here. So let's try this Lino. I like to bring two healers with me at all times, just because I think uh, I think healers are awesome, especially for uh, events like this where you've got a lot of defenses attacking you at once, and uh, you want to try and last the entire three minutes to get as much damage inflicted and get as many points as you can for your team. So as you can see there, there's 5,000 event rewards for beating base one. And so you don't get as much for beating the lower zones. You've got to attack the higher zones in order to get more points. So as you can see here, it looks very intimidating this base, but that Lexon Destabilizer only has 37,000 life. And uh, it's not as tough as it looks because it's only got um, three rounds to, to destroy, three levels to destroy. And same with this uh, rail gun there, 37,000 health. So I'll show you how it's done. And this shock tower is just a regular baby shock tower, only 12,000 life. We can take care of that really, really quick. So let's just drop some of my healers and guys at the bottom there. And as you see, those walls just melt like butter because, well, they're only level one walls. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really liking this uh, new, uh, new music. It reminds me of uh, season four, and season five with uh, with uh, Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, and it's more of that Cybertron kind of uh, music. So great job, Space Aid, with the soundtrack. Love it. So the reason why I started in the middle here is because I want to make a path to the HQ. I think it's very wise that you know you use your first attack and uh, you kind of help your bots path for the second attack because you only have three minutes to take out one of these bases here. So as you can see there I'm getting close to 30, 30 uh, energy so I want to keep using up my special abilities. And see every time you destroy something you get, re you get recharged with the special abilities. Okay, so let's, uh, we're full again. Let's drop another uh, Skylynx bomb over there. And as you can see here, uh, my bots are taking a lot of damage, but they're not getting hurt too badly because this is just level one. So, uh, you know, my bots aren't that strong, guys, so don't get too discouraged here. This is a level one raid attack, and it is a lot easier than, say, a zone, uh, a, a, raid, a level 10 raid attack. So I, I did what I wanted to do in this, in this uh, mission here. I've got some time left. I'm just trying to use up as much points as I can and uh, get myself ready for the, the next uh, raid where I'm going to attack from the right and go up to the middle. So this is going to uh, force people to try and uh, and multitask a little bit better. The more you can uh, do it once, uh, the better. And uh, let's, uh, oops, press the wrong button there. I want to kind of get my bots regrouped here because they're kind of spreading out a little bit here. And so I want them to uh, attack the, the right side because I think I'm going to go up this right side on the next round. So I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, this raid mode here. Ability. 
This is again my test account. This isn't my uh, actual bot squad anymore. Um, so just so you know, these aren't uh, these aren't uh, squads that uh, are our old squads that we used a few uh, months ago. And so that's that. That's that's uh, one attack uh, for practice one there. I was able to take out most of that base, 43%, which is really, really nice. And I did carve a nice little path to the HQ. I'm hoping I can take that out in the next round. Let's, uh, let's try that again. So you can see there, I really uh, didn't take too much damage there. I may not even need two healers, but um, I won't take any chances here. Let's uh, just keep with that same kind of uh, team that can deal a lot of AoE damage. And let's try and take out base one. And as you can see here, I'm not bringing a combiner with me. And the reason why I'm not bringing a combiner with me is because it takes too much time to actually load up the combiner. And for level one, for my squad level, it's not needed. You might need it if, you're, if your bots are a lot weaker. Feel free to bring in a combiner to help uh, do, deal some extra damage. And you definitely need combiners in the later zones, but for zone one, I don't find a combiner all too useful. Let's go ahead and drop the bots at the bottom here. Now, I would recommend if you don't have a, uh, a state-of-the-art or a top phone or device for playing, that you restart your game, reset your phone, and that'll, that'll help you uh, you know, keep the game moving as fast as possible. Because I noticed that uh, the game got a little choppy for me if I had played on my phone quite a bit throughout the day. And uh, I had a lot of apps running. So you want to close down all your apps. And uh, that'll help a lot because these bases are huge. There's a lot of defenses that could be attacking you at the same time. And as you can see there, uh, my phone is uh, a Zenfone 5Q Asus model. And it's uh, performing pretty well for me. I have no uh, complaints. Nice and smooth. So I'm just going ham with these Skylinks uh, specials because uh, I have lots of extra points and I keep destroying stuff. So that's what you want to do. You want to keep using up your special abilities. You don't want to set at 35 because you're just wasting away points. So now that I have a million 38 seconds left, I'm just going to go right for the HQ just because I don't think these defenses do that much damage in level 1 or, or, or in zone 1. So I'm going to drop Wheeljack's special there to speed up my team. And everyone is hammering away on the HQ now. Speed this up a little bit. And uh, keep attacking this HQ until it goes down. So you can see there, there's a number, there's no more numbers to go through now. This is on the last round of HQ, boom, HQ goes down, 49 seconds to spare, two attacks, zone one is down. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys. That is a lower zone attack. And I just want to show you guys the difference between a zone one and a zone 10 attack. So let's get into another one of these raids here. So you probably want to do a little bit of, of team coordination here. You don't want your best players attacking these lower zones like I just did. But since there's only a few of us in this test mode here, I, I don't think it really matters uh, too much which ones I'm attacking. So let's go ahead and let's attack a higher zone now. I'm going to attack the highest zone possible, just to show you the difference between a level 1 and, uh, say, a level 10 polyhex base here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this base. 
And now I'm going to definitely bring a combiner because uh, you don't want all those uh, defenses uh, hurting you at the same time here. So let's go ahead and let's uh, use uh, Optimus Maximus or Victorion. Hmm. I'm going to try out Optimus Maximus first. Just because I find his ability a little bit easier for me to time. Oops, I forgot Bumblebee. So that's another mistake I made there. You want to bring Bumblebee now for these higher zones because Bumblebee can stun a very strong defense. And if there's a laser involved, uh, you want you want Bumblebee attacking that laser so you're not taking all that damage. But we'll see. We'll see. what I didn't get to um, scout this base first. You may want to scout before you go into attacking them. But look at that event rewards. 250,000 event rewards for beating a, a Polyhex level 10 base. So big, big difference between a level 1 and a level 10 base. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Now let's zoom in here. Look, let's look at this Luxon Destabilizer. Now, in that level 1, some of those defenses had 37,000 life. This Luxon Destabilizer has 440,000. So it's basically 10 times stronger than a level 1 defense. And it deals way more damage. So this is a base where you really do need a Bumblebee type bot. But uh, unfortunately, I, I was rushing and I didn't click Bumblebee. So um, let's just see what we can do with this squad here. I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to do too much. But I did bring a blue Kremzeek here, which is really, really nice. I'm going to stun that laser because you'll see that the laser deals so much damage uh, very, very quickly to your bots because it's 10 times stronger than, it, than a, a level one than a level 1 laser. So you can look at my Optimus Prime. He's down to one-third of his health almost. Because I didn't stun that right away. I just wanted to show you guys how strong it is. And so... You need to bring yourself a Trax type bot for this zone. That's another mistake that I made there. But I just wanted to show you guys the importance of bringing certain bots into these raid modes. And so Optimus Prime is taking heavy fire here. Let's bring in Maximus now to, to stop that laser from punishing him. Now, I'm not... Now, this is very tough. Like, you'll see Optimus Maximus' health just get withered away here. He won't last very long with that laser locked on him. But because... Oh, gosh. Here we go. Let's use this uh, shock fire missile here. And you can see there, my Optimus Maximus almost is almost dead. And he barely did anything to this base. But he was able to shock those four defenses right up front for, um, I think it is 20 seconds, as I recall. So, that's good. Those la those uh, lasers can't hurt me, and Optimus Maximus can heal, I mean, Optimus can heal up a little bit. But now, Optimus' uh, shield is uh, expired. Now, he I put the G1 core on Optimus Prime, and so uh, he can he's invulnerable for 10 seconds, which was really, really good. And uh, you need that, especially with a laser like this attacking you. So you're, you'll notice that I get way less points uh, in uh, a higher zone because I'm not destroying stuff. Like I only took out one defense. So you're going to need an Alpha Trion core. If you guys have Alpha Trion, it's going to be very, very important for this higher zone. You want that extra, uh, extra few points you can get every now and then. So I've got the Alpha Trion core on my, on my wheeljack. I don't uh, see it working though, so I think there might be a little bit of glitches to, uh, to still iron out here with this uh, with this test mode. So yeah, I don't I didn't see uh, that the Trion core uh, really working for my wheeljack there. So that's something that I'm gonna investigate a little further. But I did see the Micronus core working on my hotspot. So some of those cores were working, the G1 core was working, but Alpha Trion's core did not seem to work at all there. Gonna have to uh, test it out. Look, look, I got myself uh, 50 Shanix shards and the top prize is 300. So uh, 
you can redeem that for, as I was mentioning earlier, you can redeem those Shannon Shards for uh, that new gold XP core. So you can get more XP or combine or uh, spark if you don't need more XP. So that'll be very, very interesting uh, new additions to the game this weekend. I think I'm going to leave this video at that. So that was level 1 attacks and uh, level 10 attacks, just to show you the difference between the two. And you can see there uh, how many points I got for the team uh, for three attacks there. You get way more points in the higher zone than you would in, say, a, a lower zone. So that's it for this video, I think. If you guys want to see more, just let me know in the comments below. I want to show you guys how much damage I did. I did 3% damage to that level 10 base with one attack. And you notice that in, in the zone 1, I did 40 something percent damage in, a, in an attack. So big difference in terms of how much damage that I was able to deal. And so uh, bringing bots like Trax are going to really, really help a lot. You want that smoke screen cover. Let's, uh, let's try it again, actually. I'm going to do one more attack for you guys. Just because uh, I've got uh, Optus Maximus uh, Combiner uh, kind of running still. And let's change up this team a little bit here. I'm going to bring Trax in, into play just because I think uh, we're going to need Trax here. And uh, I still like having Gunners, but uh, I don't think we need to have all three Gunners there just because uh, you can only bring eight bots in, and I think Trax's smoke screen will be really important. I don't have a four star Trax on this account, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to deal with this three star uh, Trax that I have here. Uh, but three stars is good enough. You get sixty percent uh, protection, which is uh, not horrible, and uh, and so you know can't complain with with that. Now, uh, what else do I need here? Uh, I was thinking Bumblebee, perhaps. But uh, I kind of liked uh, that Skylinks' uh, ability to kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, deal the area effect damage, uh, more significant damage. But let's see how much Bumblebee can can change uh, for this. Well, no, I've got tracks here. I don't think you need to have tracks and Bumblebee. So let's keep uh, let's keep with Skylinks because I like how much damage Skylinks can do. All right, so let's uh, skip this battle here and get into another raid here. So I did get four, I did get, uh, sorry about that, I did get 4% uh, damage done on that first base. So let's go ahead and let's try this out again on, uh, on, the, on the Zone 10 base with some different bots and see how we do. This time I'm going to drop uh, that blue crumb Zeke right away because I don't want to deal with that laser so fast, so so early. So you can see there, my prime only took a small sliver of damage this time, and they all pass that way, which is perfect. So you can see my. You can kind of see my phone glitching a little bit here. This is a level 10 raid, so this is the, the highest of the, the best of the best. So I de definitely recommend you guys uh, restarting your phones and closing all your apps before playing a higher zone. Especially if you don't have uh, the highest model phone out there in the market. You can see there I dropped my Maximus once that, that blue Kremsey wore off. And I don't want to do too much to this base without using that Shatter, the Shock Fire Missile, because he takes so much damage from that laser. Look at that. The laser just destroyed Maximus. But now that the laser is, is, is uh, disabled for uh, 10 seconds, I can start uh, hammering away on it with... Uh, with his other rage ability. Oh no! So they, uh, that that sh that uh, that wore off now. So I'm being uh, hit by the full effect of this laser, and then Prime activates his G1 core shield, which is really really nice.
Well, I don't think I have enough points there, so I'm just going to use one of my healing ratchet bombs to uh, keep my guys alive a little bit longer. So there you go. So you can see that laser is taking some damage by my guys. It's down to 26 uh, more passes. 25 more passes. So I was able to bring it down from 40. So we're making some progress here on this on this laser. But now that I have no more tanks to cover my uh, my gunners, it's uh, it's not looking too good here. Twenty-three, so gonna have to do a few more passes, I think, in order to take this laser down. And that's all she wrote for this attack. All right, five thousand eight hundred and thirty-five points for the team. Two point three three percent base damage done. So. That's with tracks over um, over another gunner. So that was a pretty big difference, eh, in terms of how much uh, damage I was able to do. It wasn't as much as, as that first run. So that's the fun thing about this kind of raid mode here. You're gonna practice with the uh, with a different uh, with a different raids and with the different combinations of teams to see what kind of uh, balance you can get the most points out of. So uh, let's try. Um, I was going to end it, sorry guys, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, some different looks and different boss to bring into battle. Like, Trax was good, but I think that uh, Trax Smokescreen as a 3-star is just not as effective. I think if I had more uh, Bumblebee stuns, that might be a little more effective and, and more cost-efficient as well. So let's try Bumblebee out and see how this goes. So remember, this is a zone 10. This is way different from that zone 1 that I was doing earlier. It's a lot harder, and you need to make every second count, and bring. make sure you bring special uh, uh, boosts with you, like uh, Optimus Maximus, the combiner. You want that with you. And you also want to bring something like a blue Creme Zeke. And the blue Creme Zeke is sweet. Uh, as you can see there, it stuns for 12 seconds. So that'll come in really, really handy. So as you can see there, this Luxon Destabilizer, it had, uh, I think it had like 40 something thousand health to start. And now we got it down to uh, 21,000, 215,000. So almost halfway down, we're, we're making progress on this base. And once we take out that middle portion, we can start working on the right or the left side. I don't know which side looks better. The left has mortars galore, and the right side has lasers nasty nasty lasers so we'll see how it goes here let's uh let's deploy this team from the bottom here again oh my goodness my apologies i dropped optimus maximus first i clicked on optimus maximus to look And I would typically use that shock fire missile last if I was attacking at a normal base. But since my Actos Maximus doesn't have that much health when the laser is, is locked on him, I deployed that shock fire missile right away. And that way I'm able to get in more attacks with my uh, combiner. So that was... Uh, Come on, Bumblebee, stun the right thing. Yeah, so Bumblebee stunned the right thing now. So now we're in good shape here uh, against this base. So let's uh, let's start getting to work here. As you can see, the stun is now worn off. So let's go ahead and use one of his. Uh, one of his, uh, what, do, what do you call his special here, his EMP uh, bombs. But see, since Bumblebee is kind of locked on to this laser, we're in kind of good shape here. 
because at least there's not hurting Optimus Prime. My healer's able to do the work. I'm just getting attacked by these uh, cannons. And the cannons don't deal as much damage as, say, as, say, uh, that laser. And then I'm able just to keep firing away at this base with uh, Skylinks. So I'm running out, now I'm out of points again, and unfortunately my guys have locked onto this onto this laser. So you've got nine more rounds before I can destroy it and get more points for the team. So no more special ability points. I'm only getting points from uh, Alpha Trion Core on my Wheeljack, which is every 12 seconds, unfortunately. So definitely that's a core that you want to level up as much as possible, the Alpha Trion Core. Yeah, I haven't seen it pulse at all, though. That, that, that usually when you have Alpha Trion Core equipped, it'll start pulsing on the base. But uh, I did get four more points, so, you know, I think I'm getting points somehow. And so I'm thinking I am getting them. It's just not showing up on the screen. Like, with my Cronus, you see that my Cronus kind of emblem pop up once every, whenever it starts healing every five seconds. That does not seem to be working for Wheeljack, but it is. I'm getting the points from Wheeljack's uh, ability. So anyhow, that's uh, that's just that's that. And uh, so let's bring a few more shots in. So I did a lot more uh, damage to this base. I, I did uh, seven thousand points. Uh, worth of damage. So I think I'm liking Bumblebee over Trax. I think Trax, if you've got the four star Trax, uh, you know, that smoke screen is great because uh, it does hide your bots and heal them up a little bit, but it gets super expensive to use uh, after one or two uses. And if you're not taking out defenses like, like, I, like I was in zone one, then Bumblebee is a cheaper, more cost efficient method of, of stunning the base. Uh, people were saying uh, maybe Cosmos or Perceptor, but it's the same kind of thing. Cosmos and Perceptor, they use a lot more ability points than Bumblebee, and they're very like Cosmos is slow, and and so I don't I would never I don't think I would ever use Cosmos. But you know what? This weekend this event's coming up pretty soon. You guys will get to try out this new raid mode, and uh, try out Cosmos, try out Perceptor. Let me know how you like it. All right. So uh, that's it, I guess, for this video. If you guys have any other questions at all. Just let me know, and I'll ask the developers for you. And uh, they're really, really nice and helpful uh, with regards to this uh, this new raid mode uh, testing here. Uh, Ioannis, I don't know if I said your name right. Uh, if I didn't, my apologies. But he's got a great uh, YouTube channel going there for, for Transformers Earth Wars. He, he posted some really good videos on uh, what to do for this new raid mode. So if you have any other uh, questions, you can check that out as well. But uh, feel free to leave me a message below. Please like, subscribe, you know, really appreciate it. Once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a gift card. So uh, please stay tuned for that. This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union. Thanks for watching. This is a little bit of a longer video. Appreciate you sticking around with me. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you out there on YouTube. Peace out.